Tonight, guys, we're going to show you all about trees, and a little bit later on in the video, we'll show you places to go and what to do while you're there. But for now, what we're going to do is show you what you need, why trees are important, and why you should really be cutting them when you have off time, or if you're a new player, or if you are doing discipleship, why this too can also supercharge your skilling, like the video I showed you about the Argonauts uh, the other day. So let's get into it. So I'm here on Cyrene and the reason I chose Cyrene to do this video is uh, Cyrene has more places to cut trees and there are places on Cyrene that don't have any mobs and they're specifically set up for cutting trees. Now if you've never done this before what you want to do is you want to come over here to the TT machine that's not the TT machine the trade terminal and the tree cutter you want can be found under tools. Now, if you've never done this before, what you're gonna do is you're gonna get this one right here, the Zyconian Tree Feller uh, Newing. I can't pronounce that. Now, I've already bought one, but this is showing you where you get it. Now, you want one or you can buy more, it doesn't really matter. Now, when you first start off, let me show you the, the information on this. If you've never cut trees before, you have to start with this one and you want to follow what it says here by cutting small trees until your resource gatherer mine happens to be 10.4 but if you've never done this before yours might be a little different it might not be it just depends i you know that varies for everyone but if you're doing this for the first time as a new player this will most likely be at zero so you want to start with the first one here now there is another one actually there's two more there's a level there's uh, generally, well, for the named ones, there's only like this one and another one that's part of a mission that I'll show you guys and tell you about later. But for the most part, the TT one on this planet is Zyconian Tree Feller New Ying. I guess that's how you pronounce that. And that's the one you want. You can buy one, two, three, four, as many as you can afford. But there's a trick to this and sort of a way you want to do this so that when you burn up one, what you've collected in the run with the first one will pay for the next one or close to it. So here's what we're going to do after you get your tree feller. Now we're going to go to one of the three locations that I know about, and there's probably a few more. And uh, what we're going to do is first, there's also a tree, the mission I keep telling you guys about. Um, it's called You're a Lumberjack now. And we're going to go to the teleporter that that is at, so you'll know where to go get it. And it is at, uh, where to go? This is at the Tanhawk Immigration Teleporter. Now, what you want to do, the reason you want to pick up this mission is if you turn in, if you have, after you harvest a 10,000 moon leaf boards from trees you can turn these in for a random decoration a tool blue or a random tool blueprint or you can do a simple art desk blueprint or the second tree feller which I don't know that much about it because I haven't used one yet but it is a Zyconian tree feller Sam but it's spelled S-A-A-M and it's a limited and you get a blueprint for that. Um, so we're going to go pick up that mission right quick before we get to cutting trees. And I explain how all that stuff goes. So we're going to go to the teleporter here. Actually, I'm already here. But this is a teleporter that you should already have when you first arrive here. Um, it's part of the teleporters that should be already in your teleporter list. So we go over here to this blue guy here. You notice he's Thanok Lumberjack to Zen, Zen, I guess is how you would pronounce that. Now, this is my first time doing this, so we're just going to go ahead and, as you see here, human, we've been able to develop the tree harvesting technology. Yay, good for us and all that happy stuff. Collect 10,000 points worth, and I'll give you a random decoration or upgraded harvesting tool blueprint. So... That might be the blueprint for an unlimited, or no, it's not an unlimited one, it's limited, keep forgetting, but it's upgraded in some fashion. So it may 
perform the same as like say a PH3 or a Reaper 3 maybe, which we'll talk about those a little bit later because I happen to have one of those on me too. And I'll explain the differences between the TT1 and the unlimited one and the cost and all that kind of stuff. So we'll just go ahead and accept the mission. Now where we're gonna go, you guys may or may not already have the teleporter for where we're gonna go. If you don't, I will put I will I will put the information available in the description or you'll see me put it in uh, the system tab here. I will do a position so that you guys know where to find it. Uh, where is it at? So we're we're gonna go is Footfall Island. Or wait, no, I'm sorry. Wrong place. We wanna go to we want to go to the Nugu Volcano Land Area Teleporter. Now, when we get there, now, see, the thing is, you can wait to buy your equipment until you get here because there's also a uh, trade terminal here. There's storage here and some other things. And uh, see, it's right up here. The crafting terminal at this PC is bugged. Yeah, the, the, the one thing is the crafting terminal here is bugged. Uh, Shauna is aware of it as far as I know, and she's trying to fix it. So give that a little bit if you come out here to do crafting. But here you got all your your standard stuff, right? Okay, so what you wanna do is you wanna come out here. Now, the first thing you need to do is equip your tree cutter because you won't be able to see the trees you can cut until you equip it. So we will pull up our inventory here and it's usually under tool. Now this thing looks pretty neat. I'm not gonna lie. All right, so there we go. Look at that thing. Does that look neat or what? That looks kind of vicious. That looks like a weapon you could use on somebody and do some serious damage, but it's just for trees. That's a shame though, because <laughs> you know, that would be really good. Okay, so what you wanna do, now you'll notice since I have this equipped, this small tree here pops out at me right away Although it's kind of hard to see the outline on Cyrene with these blue trees because that happens to be the same color the outline is. What you can do is look up a little bit and you'll see the, the label here as a small tree. So what you do is once you see that, you right click on it and you'll run over to it and start cutting it. Now, one thing you'll notice, uh, I'm too far away from this dang tree. Uh, sometimes that can happen too, guys. All right, now watch the skill gains that I'm getting for doing this. Just like in the Argonaut video, you will start to see the skill gains start to go crazy. And all of these have to do with resource gathering. Um, I will tell you about a website called sirenedream.org, which is very helpful. They list all of the repeatable missions, one-time missions, uh, places to go, things to see, all that kind of helpful stuff. It's a really good uh, website. Sorry, guys, I kind of, I think I set myself on fire somewhere here with my cigarette. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> Don't be a lumberjack and smoke at the same time, I guess. I still smell like that. Okay, anyway, if I burst into flames, it's all in the name of a video. I doubt that'll happen. I'm just kidding, guys. All right, so now... That's a large tree, but because we have the small cutter, we don't want to cut that. And the reason is because if you try to cut the large and huge trees, <coughs> excuse me, with the small cutter, all you're going to get is small moon leaf board, and you're not going to get any of the bigger um, harvestable uh, things like long board and medium uh, uh regular and and there's there's some things that you won't get if you try to cut the wrong trees with the wrong cutter so do keep that in mind now to move up to the unlimited or it doesn't necessarily have to be the unlimited one but the level three which would be um on sirene it would still be this one i do believe or no i think it's the upgraded one that you need to cut bigger trees Unless you have like a PH3 or a Reaper that's from a different planet. The TT tree cutters here, I think there is only that one version here. 
and and then you do the mission for the upgraded one that I think allows you to cut the bigger trees if you're using specifically Planet Sirene's tree cutters. Now, you can use other Planet's tree cutters um, on other Planet's trees. So, like, well, I'll show you here in a few minutes when I use my Reaper 3 what the difference is, which I forgot to put a little bit of pet on it so I can show you that. But, however, we'll go find us another small tree with this one. See, there's another one. One of those. I think it's this one. And you'll notice there's no mobs around here to bother you or interrupt you or, or mess with you or even kill you. And we just happen to find a bunch of small trees. Now when we're done cutting this one, I'll go back up and I'll put some pet on my Reaper 3. And I'll show you what the difference is between oh, between uh, the loot that you get and um, those types of things with the different uh, things. And I will show you a page. that black? Yeah, see, we're getting all kinds of different skills. Now, one thing to remember is the skills that you will also get by doing this will also help you accelerate through your discipleship because the skill gains that you get cutting trees, um, it hits all 12 resource gathering <laughs> sub-skills like mutant looter, robot looter, animal looter, um, you know, all your resource gathering skills plus it adds to the master resource gathering skill, which is resource gathering. So this is a really good way to not only accelerate in your skilling like you would with um, the Argonauts, but this will also augment that as well. So you're getting even more skills. And the thing about this is this is one of those things that, you know, you wouldn't think that cutting trees would be such a powerful thing to do. In a video game, especially a science fiction game about what Entropia is about. But that's one of the things about Entropia that you have to keep in mind is to think outside of the box sometimes. Because let me tell you something, guys. If you're in Entropia this far, you all, you've already found out there are things in this game that make absolutely no sense whatsoever. And trying to figure them out on your own, uh, yeah, good luck. <laughs> There's things that people that have been playing 20 years or more still have no clue about. So keep that in mind. But all right, so now we're going to go up here and I'm going to show you the difference between the TT cutter. Oh, one thing to remember when you have your inventory, when you're cutting trees, is wood, just like it is in real life, is heavy. As you can see here, when I, by the time I'm done with this run, Well, actually, what I should do is finish this run out with this blade first, but that's going to take forever to show you guys that. So I'll just go ahead and swap them out and, and cover what I was meaning to. But, all right, now the theory here, when you're using these from the TT machine, or even if you're using an unlimited one that you uh, repair, what you want to try and do is to get it to where the loot that you get, the, the wood products and things that you get from cutting the trees, when you TT them, which is, unless you're crafting wooden items and things that call for wood, that's really what you do with it, is you stick it in the TT machine, um, should be enough or just about enough for you to buy a new TT machine, a uh, new TT machine, I mean a new tree cutter. So now that we're here, I'm going to go to my tools. See, here is my Reaper 3. So what we're going to do is we're going to put, eh, we'll, I don't need very much for this demonstration. So no, we're not going to do that. But eh, we'll put about five pet on it. That's pretty close comparison. So what we're going to do this time is we're going to use my Reaper 3 so that you guys can see the difference in what you get um, if you use these tools properly as opposed to just cutting down everything you see because there is a method to this. And the Reaper 3, for some reason, I think it's because of the way it looks. Oops. Let me see if I can see. Is one of the more sought after tree cutting tools. But anyway, so we'll go back out here and you'll notice this time I can see all of the trees when we get back out here. And if I cut them, We'll see, there's a small one. We, 
We know what kind of loot we get from small trees. It's this stuff. Short moon leaf and wood shavings. Now when we cut this long one, because we're using a Reaper 3, which let me show you the, the specs on this one. Forgot to do that. One thing that you'll notice about this tree cutter is it requires resource gatherer six to use. Which if you cut trees for maybe a day or two, maybe three, depending on how much time you do it for, it won't take long to hit that. Um, the max wood tier is huge trees, which means you can cut anything from small on up to huge. You'll notice the success rate on this is 100%, and the range is one that doesn't really change. And when I switch over to this one, actually, I am not sure if those stats are going to change that much for me. No, it won't. But when you first start out, this success rate will be around 95% or so. Anywhere from 90 to 95%, depending on which cutter you start with. And why, oops, I'm sorry, I showed you the info on the wrong thing. Let's try that again, shall we? Yeah, it didn't change for me, but for you guys, it will start off anywhere from 90 to 95%. Now, once you hit resource gatherer six, <laughs> that'll go to 100%, and you'll be able to cut every tree that there is out here. But you will still be an SIB with it until you hit 10. So, keeping that in mind, let's see, I just thought of something else. What, what was it? There was something else we needed to... Oh, right, I wanted to show you the difference in the loot. Um, okay, so you'll notice, because that was a large tree and we used the Reaper 3. Now, the Reaper 3 just happens to be the unlimited version. There's also a... Uh, the Paratech PH3, which is the limited version of a tree harvester that is on Calypso and I think Arcadia. Um, there's a few other places that that one is at that I can't think of. Now, I've just shown you this place over here. Now, over there where all those trees are, that's another place where you can cut trees until your heart's content. And we'll go ahead and run over there so I can show you the difference in the contrast. You can see these trees a little bit easier than you can the blue ones over here. Oh shit, I forgot there's <laughs> big fish over here. So ideally what you're going to do is fly over here, but you know, if you jump in the water, just go for it and you might get lucky. Nine times out of ten you will. Do, 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 do. I, I probably should have flown over here, but that's okay. What else was it that I was going to say? Oh, uh, what else was it? Yeah, um, that's not what I'm thinking of. Though. There was something else. <laughs> I don't remember what it was. <laughs> eh. Well, if I think of it, I'll mention it. Anyway, we're going to go over here and look at these trees, and uh, because there's more trees over here, I'll be able to show you guys a little bit better what I mean between the difference in the trees and, the, and their loot, and how heavy that stuff is. You can easily overload yourself cutting trees, so keep that in mind. And we're heading up this way. What size is the tree? Okay, so there's a large tree. Now we'll cut this one and I'll show you. More, I'll give you a pretty good comparison between the loot and all that kind of stuff. There are places you can do this on Calypso. Oh, I remember where, what it was. There are places you can do this on Calypso, but they are not as... Um, there's not as many trees and there's usually mobs out there by them. Uh, another thing is, dang it, I just remembered it. I forgot it again. Ugh. And it's like glaring at me and I can't think of what it is. Oh, right, 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 right. One other thing that you have to think about is just like mining, 
if somebody has been out here cutting trees recently, um, because of how many trees there are out on this island, uh, it's not really that much of a concern. But in places like Calypso, where there's not as many trees to cut down, if somebody has been there just like mining before you a little bit, uh, you may have to wait a little bit for cuttable trees to respawn. Depending on the planet, one to three hours. And depending on the planet, it can be one to three hours. So keep that in mind. If you're trying to cut trees and you run into a, a place where, oh, there's a lot of trees, but you can't cut any of them, likely that's what happened. Somebody got there before you and you just need to wait a little bit. Um, and depending on the planet, like, like I said, one to three hours. There's a lot of small trees over here. <coughs> Come on, give me a huge tree. But I guess the outline on these is a little bit difficult to see as well. But since they redid the update, they uh, quote unquote refined that. But it's a little hard to see. So the best way to, to find it is, like I said, just look up a little bit so you can see the label on the tree itself. Never, ever, ever, ever cut a small tree with unlimited tree tools, not with the reason. Oh, yeah. Another thing you don't want to do is cut small trees, like I'm doing, with an unlimited cutter because it doesn't give you the same returns um, as it would if you so stick large. the bigger ones. Although, you can cut any size tree from small to large with them. Sometimes... You know, it just depends. That I'll leave that, you know, that's more of a personal preference. I cut every tree I see, and I don't notice a huge difference, but some people might. I've noticed a huge difference, and the other people I've talked to have noticed a huge difference. Yeah, and, and, but that could be subjective like mining is. You know, how crazy mining gets, because... I'm not really noticing a difference in my loot. Well, you won't until you go to see it. So, all right. Now I want to see, we've cut a couple of trees, right? And you notice over here our wood harvesting uh, mission is going. So let's look at our inventory and see how heavy we are. Now, you see, we've only cut a couple of trees. And we're already up to 187 kilograms. And that's without really cutting any huge trees or getting any of the large moon leaf. Well, actually, I think we got one. Uh, okay, that's regular moon leaf. Um, dang, it's all small trees. Wait, there's a large one. So you'll get wood shavings. Uh, you'll get mo regular moon leaf board from large trees. Um, and huge trees is where you get the, uh, long moon leaf board and under. Huge trees can give you anything from, uh, long boards on down to regular short boards. That one's kind of random. When did they start doing that? They've been doing that forever. When did they start with the Yeah. Better will you get this small? Okay. So here's a small tree and just to satisfy our curiosity about what, what Melanie is saying, I don't think what she and others are saying is true, but we'll see. It could be, like I said, entropy is a little weird with things like that. Some things work for other people just fine. Some things don't. For example, it took me a little while to get my Falcata. I had to, tr <laughs> that mission was bugged for me for like six months. And then for my wife, it was bugged for like the <laughs> longest time. But other people were having no trouble at all with it. So it is the nature of the beast. Sometimes things work out better for some people than they do others. But okay. Thank you, Edwin. Let's see if we can find a huge... I want a, at least one huge tree. Come on, guys. Well, you only have... How many wax left? I've got two wax left on the Reaper 3. But anyway, 
I'm, I'm not going to get to show you the, uh, the loot that you get. But anyway, the point of this video is simply, we'll go back to it and we'll review. So, what we've learned today is cutting trees can also, as dumb as it sounds, as you've seen from all of this here, hang on, let me expand that a little bit, uh, or try to. What you've seen from all of these skill gains here is this is also another way. And those are actually pretty good skill gains for my skill level. Uh, now, your skill gains at first will be a lot bigger, actually, than me. And they will come ver uh, more frequently. Until you start to get up around resource gathering five, then it does slow down a little bit. But not really a noticeable amount. And you will, like I said, look at all of these skill gains. So, guys, trees, they're your friend. All right, guys, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and end this video, and we'll see you guys later. If you enjoyed this video and you like the content, please hit the like, share, subscribe, do all the stuff, push all this out to anybody that you know that is also just starting so they can get another, another little... Uh, hidden secret under their belt and everybody can have fun times in entropia all right guys we're out of here for now we will be doing a live stream on wednesday so make sure you join us for that see you then bye bye bye